Greetings, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're going to talk about an HA, HHO generator hybrid hydrogen oxygen system for your vehicle. And I have it hooked up. I have my generator hooked up to a 10 amp 12 volt charger at this point. And what we have is, I just experimented a little bit. We have the uh, negative terminal. It's actually just the opposite of the, these wire colors. So I have the negative, it's a three, uh, whatever, three array uh, generator. So it basically has three, uh, separate whatever plates and we have the, the positive is on the outside so it's just as uh, exactly opposite because I thought originally that if we had the positive in the inside it would be better but we have the I changed it I tried it with the positive in the inside and it doesn't generate as much uh, HHO, uh, hybrid hydrogen, oxygen gas, uh, with the positive in the center. So I swapped it around. So now I have the negative pole in the center and I have the positive on the outside. Now this material here is basically uh, stainless steel that I uh, found uh, from a on a uh, it was on a uh, a commercial uh, ice maker or commercial freezer. It's a stainless steel, and you can see it's starting to create some bubbles. I've seen quite a few uh, systems on YouTube that produce quite a bit more. Uh, hydrogen than these do and you can see on my jar here we have this black soot and so what I have on mine is basically I'm taking some exhaust gas and I'm running it through this as well the exhaust gas goes down to the bottom of this jar and then bubbles up through this generator here and so the exhaust gas mixes with the the browns gas or or homemade hydrogen gas and is sucked into the carburetor and I had been running it on I have a carburetor on my truck that I'm running this on and so I had uh, I had this on. I ran it. Uh, I have I had a similar array charging whatever generator array, and I ran it for a couple of years, and it worked fine. And then for some reason, I pulled it all off because I was having a problem with it, uh, sort of loading up, getting a little bit too much fuel. So I had to. Uh, pull everything off and tune it up again and what I found is my float adjustment was off so it didn't actually have anything to do with this as far as I'm concerned um, it did uh, it was just simply a float adjustment that uh, I had to deal with so uh, yeah this is my little hydrogen oxygen experiment okay so this was my little uh, O2 adjustment for my HHO system and so basically I bought it off eBay came with uh, it was like 80 bucks and uh, so basically it had an on off switch and it had a couple of settings uh, for lean basically it hooked between the O2 sensor and the the truck computer 
and basically this thing burned out after about a year so it was like toast in about a year I tried to look up the people on eBay and it was no longer they were no longer selling them um, so basically all I've done is uh, I run it straight I run the O2 sensor straight into my computer and it's working that way so uh, you know it's not like optimized uh, I don't normally check my gas mileage I just run it and hope for the best okay here's what my system looks like now that's that's the jar with the array whatever the, the generator inside of it I've got some exhaust gas feeding in this is the inlet port and this is the out gas right here goes right in here and through my air cleaner and that's how I got it hooked up so I bought a lot of the parts from Rock Auto for this for my motor um, I recently bought a timing belt uh, cam seal and lower seal for this and install it because it was leaking it was noticeably leaking here I had uh, the valve cover gasket is leaked a little bit and so I wanted to warn you about buying cheap auto parts from Rock Auto. Um, they have cheap parts and you can get them fairly quick and that's great. You know, if you're just fixing up a car quick fix and rolling down the road, don't intend on keeping the car, you know, it's probably great. But um, if you're buying parts from Rock Auto, I don't recommend buying the cheapest parts because you know, it may look like you're saving some money, but if you're buying cheap parts, you're buying cheap parts, basically. And you don't want to have to go back in and replace parts after a year or so. You want your parts to last a little bit longer than a year or six months. So my recommendation for Rock Auto Parts is don't buy the cheap parts. And so all I have to do is hook up my wires here and I'll be ready to rock and roll with the, my HHL on this one. Okay, so these are the two brands that I use. I use the Duralube and the Valvoline Max Life. Valvoline is a very high quality oil and Duralube helps uh, to uh, strengthen, keep the motor strong. And I also use a magnet on my oil filter. This magnet, if you put a magnet on your oil filter, uh, it keeps the engine a lot cleaner and it'll prolong the life of your engine. Now this, this engine here has probably got uh, 150,000 miles on it. It's got a brand new head about maybe 5,000 miles ago. But uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't it doesn't burn oil much at all. We have a little bit of gasket leak here on the top, we can see. But um, it does not burn oil, which is great for uh, a high mileage Thanks for watching. Uh, truck. If you need any help, you can contact me at EurekaRecycler at Yahoo.com. Thanks.